Hi everyone, in this tech tip we are going to talk about 10 tips to use Google Drive effectively and improve productivity. For new users of Google Drive, when they receive an email when a file is shared, they assume that is the same as receiving an attachment. So here if I share this particular file with a user, and if they don't know anything about Google Drive, when they go to their email, they're going to see a new email, and in this email they'll think that the two links are the only ways to get to the document. Just like in an email, an attachment is linked to the email, so if that's deleted, it's gone. So if I go ahead and delete this file, new users will think that they no longer have access to that document that's shared with them. However, in my drive, there's a shared with me section, which you will see that particular document as well. You can add it to your drive, and that will then allow you to file it in your online drive filing system. So if I move it there, then I will see it under my drive. So if I go ahead and refresh my screen, I'm going to now see the document is there. If I want to keep my shared with me organized, I can then go ahead and right click and then remove the file from the shared with me section. This file will still be visible in my drive, but it won't be in the shared with me section. So when I go to my drive and I refresh the screen, it's still going to be there. But this is just a little bit buggy right now as it does sometimes disappear at the very first time you refresh. But if I refresh again, it will be there. And then I can always have access to that file without the email. When uploading files to Google Drive, many people know where to go to upload the file. However, one thing to note when uploading files is that your location where Google Drive is currently in is going to be where that file is uploaded. So if I go ahead and upload this file right now, it will upload into folder one. This can be confusing for new users because they think it's just being uploaded to my drive, which is not true. So when they come back to Google Drive at a later date, they'll be wondering where their file went unknowingly because of the fact that the file was uploaded to the folder that was currently visible. When using Google Drive, it may be quite tempting to download Google Docs as a Word document to edit it in Word. So many users who've come from Microsoft Office like to open a Google Doc, download as, and choose a Microsoft Word document. Then it'll go and download and they can go ahead and open that particular file in Word and then make what necessary changes that need, they need to make to the document. The downside with this is once they save the file and then close it and then need to upload it back to Google Drive, it will upload as another file. So if I go ahead and close this tab, I am back at Google Drive and when I hit the new button and file upload, I have to find that file, select it, and then upload it to Google Drive. It will then upload as a Word document, and the main disadvantage of this is that it, since it is a brand new document, it no longer has the same share settings as the original. So the original, we see the two icons that kind of mean that that document is being shared, which isn't at the new document. And even if I go to the advanced settings, I see it's only shared with myself versus if I go to the Google Doc, it is originally shared with another person. So it really reduces the effectiveness of collaboration with using this particular feature uh, improperly. So instead, do your best to use Google Docs in the Google Doc interface, and then other people will be able to edit and see those changes as well. So if I go ahead and open Google Docs in the web browser, despite the fact it's different, it will be more effective for other people to see the changes that you make. If you are still using Microsoft Office and you are using Google Drive to collaborate, you may be uploading multiple versions of the exact same document. Google Drive does have a feature to be able to manage uploading 
new versions of the same document without having a brand new file each time. If you right click on the document, it'll be under manage versions. And then there will be a button to upload a new version. So then I can find the file from this location and then when it's uploaded, it will still be a single document in Google Drive. This is more beneficial because it will maintain the share settings of the one file despite when I do go ahead and upload new versions. Then I don't even need to manage the versions by the name. It is managed in that manage version section. And I can even go ahead and download older versions as necessary. When sharing folders, many users tend to share a folder with can edit privileges so that it cascades to all the files within that folder. So all these users have a can edit access to the folder, but please use caution with this particular feature because if I share a particular folder as can edit, every user has the ability to now make changes to the contents of that folder. So for example, if in TNS user 02, they go ahead and delete a particular file, it will be removed from that folder and no one else will be able to find that file except for the original owner. Furthermore, if another user, for example, TNS user 04, decides to move a particular file outside of that folder to their own My Drive, they're going to first get a pop-up that says that no one else will be able to see this document, but they may ignore that and hit OK anyways. And if they do, then that will also remove that file from everyone else's view. Therefore, unless you're confident with your editors, share folders as can view so that these files cannot be moved outside of the folder. Google Drive simplifies the sharing process with being able to share a link with a get shareable link. Be cautious when using this because it will default to anyone with the link can view. So it does not get to use the same security features of sharing with individual users. And it is not as noticeable when you're using that get shareable link. You can also go to advanced or just in the menu, turn it off when needed. This is just like having a file stored on Dropbox or any other cloud storage and sharing that link to that file to any external user. Google Drive, just like any other file manager, allows you to move files from one folder to another, usually just by simply clicking and dragging. However, Google Drive has the additional ability of having a file located in multiple folder locations so that you can have the same file but found in more than one folder. If I hold down the control button and move the file, it will then add that file to the additional folder instead of moving it. So it's here in project one, and it is still also visible in project three, allowing you to reduce the need to copy this file and place it in more than one location. And remember to update both files at once. Furthermore, if I'm sharing files with an external user, I don't necessarily want to share it with every single individual file. I can group them together first in a folder and share the folder. Here I've created a John Smith folder that I'm going to share. And I can then go ahead and in my Google Drive be able to uh, open up that folder in the left sidebar and be able to add files to that folder. Once again, holding control and then dragging those files to that particular folder. Once those files are there in the John Smith folder, I could then go ahead and just share this John Smith folder and it will have both files shared with the recipient. So I share the folder, share it with John Smith's email address. And then when I send, it will then share all the contents in this folder with John Smith. But I can still find these files in my personal folders where they were originally located. When I am composing a new message in Gmail, I am able to also link files from Google Drive as an alternative to adding an attachment. So instead of clicking on the paper clip, I can click on the Google Drive icon. It'll bring me into my Google Drive where I can find my files 
and then be able to insert them into the particular email. So Google Doc, I can only insert a Google Drive link, but if it is another file, for example, a PDF or a Word document, I have the option of also adding it as an attachment from this location anyways. If I go ahead and insert a Google Doc, so here I'm inserting a sheet. If this sheet is not shared with the recipient, I will get a pop-up that asks for me to share. The default is anyone with a link can view, so it is not as narrow as it can be. Under more options, if I know my recipient has a Google account, I can specify just their email and choose the permission levels from this location. When I send and share, they will now have access to that file. If there are folder locations that you use frequently in Google Drive, you can bookmark them in your internet browser like Chrome. And when you bookmark them, you'll be able to have a quick link to them on your bookmarks bar. So now I've added project three to this particular location so that whenever I am just going to Google Drive or if I am say opening Google Chrome for the first time or opening a new tab, I can simply click on that link and it will take me to the exact folder location in my Google Drive. If you would like to sync your files with your computer, in settings there is Download Drive. When you click on that, you will get to a page which gives you a big button to download Drive, either on your Mac, PC, Android, or Apple device. We're going to click on the Mac and PC and accept and install the Terms of Services. It's going to download a file to install this required software. Once that file is done downloading, I can go ahead and open it and run that particular file. It will ask for administrative privileges before it gets started. Once I go ahead and confirm that, it will download the rest of the software and install that onto the computer. Once that is done, all we have to do is log in to the particular new software and it will start syncing with our Google Drive space. It will ask us to get started with the pop-up and from there we are going to have to log in with our email and our password in order for this program to start syncing with our Google Drive account. It can only do one Google account at a time and we just need to go ahead and hit next so that it just finishes with its original introductory and walkthrough. So once that's all done, we also get a pop-up that does say that Google Drive is going to be accessible. Internet Explorer does sometimes crash like this as it is just restarting with the new software. And then when the bar does come back, I will then see the Google Drive icon. If there is moving lights on it, then it is syncing. And if it's static like it is now, it is done its syncing process. That will also be linked to a folder in my account now. So my Google Drive folder is within my user account folders. And that Google Drive folder will have the folders and files and Google Docs that are currently in my Google Drive. If I open up a Google Doc at this location, it will open in a browser. And if I open up a file, like a Word file, it will open up in Microsoft Word. So if I go ahead and open up the sample Google Doc file, here it is in Chrome opening up so that I can now edit this. The advantages of using these is that also if I'm offline, I can still access all these files. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.